welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Last time on Tuchanka, we dealt with the Clan Warlock problem of trying to research the cure for the Genophage. That's our second time that we stop someone from trying to achieve that. But we got the data this time around, and there is the possibility that it is going to be researched in the future. And we also killed Malon. This time, there's another movie to look at from the first game. And that is basically an in-game trailer. Also from some E3. And then we'll go on another uh, loyalty mission. is pretty accurate as to how the game goes, unlike the cinematic trailer. But anyway, so the previous loyalty mission was more of the same, go from point A to point B while killing a lot of mercenaries on the way. This time we're going to go for something quite a bit different. And that's not what I want to load. Whoops. Hmm. Wow, it's actually much more lit up compared to after when the crew is gone. Huh. I never noticed that. That's an interesting thing to see. But anyway, so the place that we need to go to this time around is Beckenstein. Did everything that we want to do here for the time being. And we are going to the Serpent Nebula itself. I don't really know how this makes sense, but apparently there is more to the Serpent Nebula than the Citadel. Even though it's a nebula. <laughs> but there is another system called Boltzmann. Which is where we can help Kasumi. So while we're here, let's go explore these planets. Wheeler. Wheeler is a sizable rock planet. Its atmosphere is a hostile mix of hydrogen and carbon monoxide, which poses little hazard to remote robo mining. Modern equipment can easily tolerate the planet's temperatures and gravity. Wheeler's crust is rich in bauxite and other light metals used in fabricators the galaxy over. Hmm, okay. So this might be rich. Now let's water it. So I'm not going to bother. Next, there's something in the asteroid belt of all things. Thooft. Technically named Tehooft, Dutch for the head. Tooft is a dwarf planet with a moderate carbon dioxide atmosphere and rich deposits of periclass. Originally put on the star charts when a human scout ship needed to discharge its drive core and wasn't able to reach the system's gas giants in time, Tooft has seen some development by Hoshiri Heavy Industries. Periclass from the asteroid can be found in common industrial products, such as industrial cable insulation and fire-resistant prefab housing walls. Prefab housing, you say? And yes... to hoofed <laughs> It's moderate still, so I'm still not going to bother. And 
next is where the ship wanted to get to to discharge its drive core. Veltman. A hydrogen helium gas giant, Veltman is home to the Kosherotan, enormous storm cells that appear as whitish spots and are visible far away as Beckenstein. As with most other colonized gas giants, Veltman's orbital space sports a variety of helium-3 refueling stations for merchant vessels. Of particular note among the orbital stations is the Dynamis Corporation's facility for manufacturing metastable metallic hydrogen, despite the risks involved in manipulating the powerful mass effect fields needed to do so. Citadel warships, which use the substance in their thrusters, can frequently be seen docking at Veltman as a result. This makes the Boltzmann system one of the most heavily patrolled in Citadel space. Well, probably also because there's the Citadel right next to it, you know. <laughs> makes it pretty easy to patrol. And it's poor. And there is still something else left. Ah, oh, that thing. But nothing else in the asteroid belt, it looks like. Feynman, a hydrogen methane gas giant, Feynman is of far less interest to the colonists of Beckenstein than its moons. All 24 are under heavy development by three rival firms Hoshihiri Heavy Industries, Guanakui Solutions, and the Dynamis Corporation. These three firms are under ironclad contracts to sell their raw materials exclusively to corporations based on or orbiting around Beckenstein, a situation which has led to heavy investment on Beckenstein from manufacturing corporations looking to get a piece of the action. Feynman itself has been relatively untouched by the mining concerns, as strong magnetosphere and great dark storm cells create a barrier to all but the newest generation of scanners. Well, guess what? We have scanners. <laughs> and it's poor. So it's still not worth scanning. Just to make sure that we're not missing something in the belt. Let's go through it. I don't think there are hidden things like that in this game, but... can never be too certain. Especially given that this is all from a DLC, so... If you don't have the Kasumi DLC, you would not be able to get to this place at all. Or go to Beckenstein, of course, and do the whole thing. The recipient of the first wave of Earth's colonization efforts, Beckenstein's founders had a decidedly less agrarian plan than Eden Prime. The mission of Beckenstein's first colony was to become Earth's off-planet manufacturing base, ingratiating humanity into galactic culture by producing needed goods. Meeting with mixed success for the first generation, Beckenstein then leapfrogged its competition by producing high-quality luxury goods that went straight to nearby markets via the Citadel. Today, Beckenstein is known as the Human's Ilium, a place where new money tycoons flaunt their wealth and the have-nots are rarely spoken of. Hmm. So, more Ilium type of plants. Only found in 2158, population of 5 million. <laughs> Capitalist Milgram. <laughs> okay. Doing some experiments, eh? And orbital distance quite far, period quite long, radius rather small. Day length is good, pressure is good. Temperature is pretty warm. And 25 in the habitable zone. Huh. So. People only live somewhere far enough from the sun. Also, we can scan it, of all things. <laughs> and it's depleted. <laughs> well, alright, let's go. I don't know if you remember what this is supposed to be all about, but I think we'll get a briefing from Kasumi anyway, so let's just land. And you cannot also talk to Kasumi about this, unlike your regular party members, to get a refresher on what's going on. Still going to save my squad points. Also, we don't have the ability to choose our party members, it's just Kasumi. But I do need more Master Thief. 
Master Infiltrator or Master Saboteur. Kasumi specializes in her tech mastery, greatly reducing the recharge time of her powers. Or specializes in weapon combat, increasing her weapon damage. It's Shadow Strike and... Um... Overload. Overload is not overly useful, considering that I have that as well, although there are a lot of enemies with shields. And it's just two things. I don't think it's really worth going for Infiltrator. Let's go with Saboteur. And I can put some extra things into Overload. You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hop won't know what hit him. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Um... So, what are we doing again? Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, so basically there's a gray box of Keiji, who is Kasumi's acquaintance, and we need to get that. I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. And we're going undercover, so this is a stealth mission rather than a fighting mission. That's quite a change in uh, the way this game does things. And I like the difference. So we need to infiltrate there and find out where the great box is going to be. Which is what probably Kasumi is going to tell us right now. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a side arm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. And then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. Hmm. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. What's in the gray box that makes it worth all this trouble? The Grey Box holds Keiji's memories. Everything from all the codes and plans he stole to... all the time we spent together. Wrapped up in those memories is the secret he stole. Keiji never told me what it was, but the information got him killed. So, we don't know. That's fantastic. <laughs> but we're going to ruin someone's day. Someone who is not a very good person, so that's all fine with me. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Mr. Gunn. Just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. 
I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. Ah, Scotsman. Nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Solomon Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you, you've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. Uh... Already running into problems. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. Rude. If it makes you feel more secure, she can wait outside. Good to see we're not going to have a problem. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Yeah, that kind of throws a spanner in the works, doesn't it? Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. Um... Well, John never lacked in confidence. Don't worry about it. I can handle it from here. That's good, because you'll have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. All right, locate the vault door. And renegade. <laughs> Just to make sure. So yeah, Kasumi, stealing memory. Master Thief Kasumi Goto has a problem. A ruthless arms dealer named Donovan Hawk killed her partner, Keiji Akuda, and stole Akuda's Greylocks, a neural implant that stores memories and information. Kasumi has planned a daring heist to recover Akuda's grey box and has asked for help in pulling it off. Once this is done, Kasumi can dedicate all her attention to completing Shepard's mission. So, we need to find the door of the vault. But also, it's a party, so let's go and talk to people. How did you ever contain that situation on the hull? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam! Done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabble would dog you for years. Aleph. Hmm. There's Donovan Hawk himself. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking, at best. Yeah, he is dead. Oh, there's a security room door. Probably shouldn't mess with things like that just yet. Hmm. Interesting abstract paintings there. Cool fish. Donovan Hawk certainly has quite a uh, complex here. Um, that's a cool bird, by the way. <laughs> and there's Eclipse guarding the whole place. I can bypass the door, but probably not a good idea to do that right in front of the guard. So first, let's just walk around a bit. The idea of a party is to talk to other people, I suppose. So... Say, what's that over there? Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large one, at least. So, that's Hawk's bedroom. That is important to know, by the way. <laughs> And yes, this place is quite impressive. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. <laughs> we'll see if we can get near it. There's a data pad to read. 
Private Reams. No way we can sneak out of that party. The place is locked down tight, and Security Chief Rowe is in charge. No way Rowe will let that get past her. I'd rather stand around bored on guard duty than risk her wrath. Sorry, Samuels. Huh. Um... Okay. So it looks like the guards don't really want to be here, which... What's your read on that Archangel guy? I hear he's dead. Or gone, or something. Good riddance, I say. <laughs> yeah, he is kind of gone. Except he is totally with us, but he's gone, sure. Yeah, that's a lot of paintings. And that's not a real fire, by the way. <laughs> However, this is blocked. We cannot go upstairs. We have an objective marker, but we don't have a map. Well, let's talk to Hawk himself. He's the gun. We need to case the vault gun. You can chat up Hawk later. Hmm. This guy sure looks like a vampire. <laughs> At least from this illumination. Alright, well. We need to find out more about... Hawk throws a hell of a party. Yes. I'm not too pleased with the caliber of people he's invited, though. Is it too high or too low? <laughs> hmm. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. Keiji could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Alright, so now we have a lot of things that we can do. Find Hawk's DNA. Disable voice lock. Shut down the connect barrier. And disable vault security to begin with. So obviously we don't want to touch these things before we have the right tools. Also, this is a statue of Saren. Clearly, these guys are a bunch of ruffians if they are wooed by statues like that. So, there are power cables that we can examine to cut the power, but I'm going to leave that for a bit later. Oh yeah, now this is all closed, and Kasumi is out of sight once again. So, we need to talk to a guard to get some more information about this, so let's see. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. Hmm. Never mind then. Enjoy the party. Private rooms. We need to get in there. That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. Yeah, so we need authorization. Uh, let's see. Ah, there's a security room that we can bypass. Hmm. Any more guards around? I don't think there were. Okay, well, let's first try to go into the security room. That door goes to a security room. I'll take care of the lock. There we go. Ready when you are. Alright. So we're in. 
And we can bypass this door. Oh. Let's see if we can do this. Now that there are no people watching. few Eclipse Troopers, but we have a pistol. Fortunately it's a Predator, whereas she has a submachine gun. That's pretty great. But I also have all of my abilities. can get thrown around, I guess. Going dark. I have an idea. See what you can find. Yeah, that was Shadow Strike. More importantly, we have the ability to access the small safe and the medical station and then read a day about it. Nance, I have that problem too. So many passwords around here, can't keep them straight. The password for tonight is Perugia, so it's not even easy to remember. It's no big deal. That voice scanner means the password is only useful to Hawk anyway. After this party, want to grab some beers? Let me know, Samuels. Okay, so the password is Perugia. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rowe sent you. We still need that voice sample from Hawk. This is something called Mass Effect Galaxy. I'm not sure what it is. I th maybe that's some kind of mobile game or something. But uh, that's a reference to that. But now that we got through their security, we have authorization, quote unquote. Did you hear? Santiago took over that refinery on Zoria. He's such a shrewd businessman. The Blue Suns are lucky to have him. Hmm. Video Santiago, that's the other thing that we'll need to deal with later on. But that's for Zaid. So for the voice thing, we need a sample of Hawk's voice. We go to look at the journal. Sample Hawk's voice. Speak with Donovan Hawk long enough to obtain a sample of his voice. The security on Donovan Hawk's vault includes a high-tech voice scanner that is keyed to Hawk's own voice and locked with a unique password. Any pass lock will require both knowledge of the password and a sample of Hawk's voice. So let's try and get that. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. After you. Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. Hmm. Understandable. There's always someone gunning for people like you and me. <laughs> yes, that's true. I'm glad you understand. Frankly, I'm surprised your security isn't tighter. It's a ballsy move opening your front door like this. Yes, I suppose it is. Hopefully it sends the message that I don't fear anyone stupid enough to step up to me. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, 
are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Let's go crack that voice scanner. All right, got that done. Found the password, indeed. And got renegade points for it. But I think that will be all for the time being. We will get to cracking the vault further next time. So, see you all then. Later.